Hey guys, I'm chilling at the house and uh, well, I'm about to go to an acting lesson. Not about to at like 5:30. It's like four o'clock. I had an acting lesson with one of the teachers at Asthma, and I'm gonna try out next year to get in. Hopefully, I can get in next year because. I just don't fit in an Uber, you know? I just don't... Hold on. It's nothing against you Hoover kids, it's just I'm not a Hoover kid. I'm not a football player, I don't do all this, even though I, I do gotta say this, this body here could play football. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just jishing ya. Get it? Jishing ya? Like joshing ya? Like joking? I'm just jishing ya? Never mind. Um... If you didn't see what I did right there, I had a song playing on my iPod. And when I pulled it out, the music stopped. If you noticed. You might not have, but you know, if you did, that's that's cool. Uh, also, okay, no. I got this text message, because a long time ago, like a year, maybe two years ago, when I got interested in acting, I was looking up, you know, kids, theater, whatever, whatever, not kids, theater. I was looking up movies for children in Alabama. Children is in like 18 and under. And so I was looking up, and it was the, the website I found in 18 and under. It's like like young actors or any kind of actors, so it's whatever. But, uh, let me grab it. Uh, all right. But I, uh, I signed up for that. I didn't sign up. It's not, it, it's not like you have to pay anything. It's just, hey, put your name, phone number, and uh, age, and then tell us something about yourself. I put all that in, submitted it. I've been getting emails for like past years, like one every month or one every now and again, like, hey Ben, there's a movie opening in blah blah blah, you might have a chance in it. And then today I got a text message from it. I never get text messages. I usually get emails. I don't even check my email, I just delete them all. Hold on. Okay. Well, text to Mr. Red. I might be in a movie. Alright. But like I was saying, I got a text message and hold on let this message send and I'll look it look it up. Let's see how. Right here. Movie extra wanted exclamation point. Make up to three hundred dollars a day up to not three hundred dollars. Uh Three hundred dollars a day, all looks, no experience, which means there's not going to be any words. I just get to like walk in the background, but that's that's fine with me as long as I get to do it. Uh, no experience required. Call and then it left left this number. Uh, okay, and then here I have I called the number and it was a machine at first, and it was like, stay online and uh, we'll get. Okay, it didn't say, and uh, it said, stay online to speak with the next available agent. And after like two seconds after that, I hung up because I was like, when I talk to an agent, I want my mom or dad, probably my mom, to be there because she knows what to say. I mean, my dad probably knows, my dad probably knows what to say too, but I mean, my mom's more of the theater person, my dad's more of the music person, you know what I'm saying? Alright, but I'd probably just be an extra, but if I never, I never saw Fast and Furious, but in Fast and Furious, was there a guy that was like a redneck or that was really country? Because I think that's the movie, I think it's Fast and Furious, and the country guy that's in that movie, my grandmother actually got him his first acting job, and because there was an acting thing in Alabama somewhere where she lived, and she told his mom when, you know, he was just a baby, she was like, Hey, you should have your son go try out for this. So she took him. He was a little extra, and they liked him. You know, that's what happens. You get in one movie, and you're an extra, and then you go out, and you become an extra in another movie, and then another movie, and the next thing you know, you're in Harry Potter getting attacked by Slytherin and whatnot. I was just making a friend since there. What's, what's the guy, what's the name of the guy who uh, did Harry Potter? Not Danny Glover. No, that was a joke. It, it definitely wasn't Danny. Wait, was it? 
Danny Glover. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't remember the kid's name in Harry Potter because I was never a Harry Potter fan. Sorry, Mr. Red's giving me crap about... I was like, hey, if this, uh... Uh, I can't remember. Hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, okay, hold on. Let me just clear my brain. Alright, I was like, hey, I might be in a movie. And he was like, a real movie or a fake movie? I was like, no, a real movie. He was like, what, would you be the guy giving the actors coffee and whatnot? And I was like, no, I'd... And then I started talking to you guys. No, I'd... Really? Okay, there. B. N. A. And I got this text message today at, let me check the time, because I think the longer I wait, the less chances I have of actually doing this, so I want to call immediately. I got this at 10 this morning, it's 4 o'clock. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no. Crap, I got this at 10 yesterday. Crap, oh well, I'll call him anyway. Alright, but I'm about to go, uh... 5.30, go to my little acting lesson with the teacher at Asheville because I plan to go to Asheville in 10th grade. Hey, Daisy. So I didn't go this year. I didn't get accepted, sadly. Horrible day for the genetic race. Um, it, is, it is really hot today. That's actually why I have my shirt off because it's really hot. <laughs> wow. I am... I am dying right now of like a heat stroke or something. Ha ha ha, coke. All right. Let's pour myself a drink and then we'll three, two, one until after my acting lesson or something. So let's go ahead and three, two, one. Hey guys, uh, just got done theater class, my little private acting lesson with uh, Tommy Canary. Let me get my binder out and see what I'm doing here. Plus all the theater homework he gave me to do. Here's the book I'm reading for theater. This big book of plays with Neil Simon. And uh, here's one of the monologues I'm doing. This is the one I did last year for uh, Whatever, last year for the audition for ASFA. Did not get accepted, but you know, whatever. Try out next year. So, what he wanted me to do, one of the things, is uh, take this and make a piece of paper with however many lines there are on this all the way down. And then uh, read a line and then write down on the paper what it means. So, I have to do that. My knee's itching like crazy. Uh, I think it's like a bug bite. I don't know. Not important. Mo inside. Not important. But I gotta do a lot of that. I gotta read. I gotta finish reading Sunshine Boys, and then I need to read the play. Brighton Beach Memoirs, hopefully, before next Tuesday I can get that done. Maybe not, but hopefully. Wowzers. Okay, right here I have... Uh, this little book my mom gave me to write in just for today. Get a different book later. Plays I need to look up. Actors. And then... Uh... Okay. It's, I guess, what I have written down here is The Bards of Birmingham. B-A... Uh, B-A... Uh, wait. B-A-R-D-S. Okay. The Bards of Birmingham. Or it's, it's something... Phone is ringing. Let's let's see who that is. Hello. No. <laughs> that was a computer or something telling me about the E. coli. Who knows? And um, this. Alabama Film Administration or Commin Comestry Administration. I don't even know. I was just writing down really fast. 
Look that up. That's a group that is a... Uh, what's the word? Like, people that tell you... They call you and tell you when... Mo, well, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, not important. They call you and tell you if there's a movie or something, or a play or something coming in. I think it's actually movies. Movies or shows coming into Alabama. Film. You know, you're just really stealing my concentration, Cat. Did you know that? Did you know that? Baby, yeah. Alright, not... Important. Alright. Gotta do all this, and this is my Dr. Is stuff. I don't know if I told you guys about that. I don't think I did. I'll tell you now. Me and Rumi, he got accepted into ASFA. Let's all give him a round of applause. Yes, thank you. Thank you for Rumi. Alright. Um, me and Rumi have, uh, a long time ago we started writing stuff for like a Saturday Night Live that we would do. Just little SNL skits, ten minutes, five minutes long. So we have one here that I wrote, or I have one here. Rumi hadn't seen it yet. I wrote this yesterday. It's called Dr. Is, and it's it's like... A joke of Dr. Oz, Dr. Phil, and Dr. House from that show House. So the, the people in the thing, in the movie, or in the little short film, is Dr. Is, Dr. Bill, or Dr. Phillips, whatever I decide, and Dr. Home. That's, that's, or Home or Homes, I can't, I cannot decide. Alright, so, um... That's that. It's like little four pages long. There's the last page. There it is. One, two, three, four. That I wrote yesterday. I'm going to show it to Rumi. Me and him will start working on that. Type it up and uh, each get a copy. We'll work on it. I need three actors, actually. I only have two. So me and Rumi are going to be... I'm going to be doing Dr. Is. Rumi will probably be doing Dr. Phillips or Dr. Bill, whatever I decide to call him. There's only three people, FYI. Phillips and or Bill, whatever I decide to call him, Holmes and Is. So, Rumi will be doing Phillips, I'll be doing Is, and we need somebody to be Dr. Home. So, any takers, any takers that watch these videos that might want to do a short film and get on the Wall Street acting journal, I don't know what it's called, I just made that up, but it, there is this thing where you take a 10 minute movie and you like submit it and they put it in or whatever. So, yes, I think my mom's done a few of those. That is, Kat, you're, you are seriously stealing my show with your chillness. Alright, you know what, I'm done with you, Kat, I'm done with you. Alright. Um, this right here, just, I need an actor. Anyone who wants to do it, raise your hand, video viewers. If it's Will, Will Locker, if you just raised your hand because you want to do it, no. I'm not going to let you do it, Will. You know why? Because this cat told me to. Isn't that right, Mo? You don't want Will to do it? It's kind of mean, isn't it, Cat? Is that mean, Mo? Does that mean you're not letting somebody do it? No, the reason I'm not letting you do it, Will, is because the people I'm more thinking of are me, Rumi, and Teague, who I thought could do it. Maybe Teague. Or, you know, if Teague didn't want to do it, I can get... I was going to say Carter, but you know there's no black doctors. That was a joke. I'm not racist. But, you know, I, I did just say that there's no black doctors and Carter's black. That was racist. But no, not for this. But I can't use him because Dr. Holmes, Phillips, and Is are all white because all the other people in those shows are white. But yes, there there are black doctors. I was joking. All right, but, um... Oh, jeez, you killed me. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and end this. Somebody wants to be an actor, raise your hand. And I'm going to raise my hand and say keep on trolling.